The amount of times that you hadn't found a wheel to get out of the bed was innumerable. Can click there to advance. Maybe. Uh, this is wall final. You are not particularly special. Did, did, did you see that? Ye? Nor interesting. K? There's 7.125 billion people in the world. And all of them get some sometimes. Hint, you may be able to click the hard attacks. And all of them get angry sometimes. And all of them get sick sometimes. And all of them get jealous sometimes. Ill. Sad. Angry, sick, jealous, ill. Next, your name is Terry. Your name is whoa. Your name is Terry, and you are a young man. You are in your second man, woman, person. Uh huh. Let's go. At the university. I don't know. Honestly, you study science. Why? Why would I study science? Art. Why? Why? <laughs> Not business. It. History. Fashion. No. Science. Uh, no. No. Well, yeah, yeah. You have a partner. Their name is... R Rose? You met Rose when you were... <laughs> this is kind of weird. <laughs> when you were in high school and you've been sit hard since. They bought you a fellow goldfish or... A fellow goldfish? What? Yellow goldfish for your anniversary yesterday. You named the fish... Uh... Teros. The fish isn't very cuddly, but do you think that hers is a nice pet? Yes. Welcome to Woe Be Gone. That's the title of the game. Yes, hello there here. We're going to play Woe Be Gone. Also. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, you want to kill yourself. Uh, what? Make it through three days. Uh, what? It is 9 a.m. You're lying in bed. You hear a voice from the opposite room. Terry, are you up? You're all over and sleep. You get up. You both have out of bed. You greet Rose with a smile, a kiss on the cheek, and you eat toast together. You don't want to go to university. You tell them you want to stay home. You force yourself to go. Rose pause and they regard you. Well, that's your choice. You kiss Rose Leaves. This actual, actually, maybe I shouldn't have picked uh, my other name as the part of it because that, now it feels weird. Now it feels like a self incense, in incense stuff. <laughs> Which is okay. Your chair swims around the circles while you think and it toast. Uh, and this is jarring as well. I should name the pet as uh, my own name as well. Fuck my life. You go to class. It says say home. Yes. You miss the the director and go back to bed. You make up in the night afternoon. You eat wheat with Bix. You turn on TV versus the home and now you feel very ill. You make dinner. You just go back to bed. You make chicken noodles for Rose, they seem slighted, they kiss you a lot. You together, you feed Terrace, and you go to bed. You are somewhat happy, you miss out an important class. Fuck, you and Rose are doing fine. Don't you hate yourself? A lot, maybe. A little, I don't know, honestly. But, yeah. You know what, let's go with hyperbolic. A lot, I hate myself a lot. And what are you gonna do about it? You wake up, sometime you used it, you wouldn't. It's Saturday, you need to go to grocery store, and Rose is stopping something beside you. The more me, 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 you let yourself sleep in a deeper somewhere. You don't start to wake up until you feel a friend light in your face. When you do rose, you are forget sick feeling. You sleep, Ma sleep again. You can't get up. Fuck, you can't get up at all. Help me, help me, please. Please help me. I can't, I can't get up. You simply sleep until it's dark and then until it's light through, through until it's a yellow morning. Rose spend the evening alone. They have a sensual dinner. Your dreams are red and upset. You are growing very unhappy, you feel constantly tired, you and Rose are content, you are constantly behind our schoolwork, you have no shopping. And you feel yourself suffocating. Yeah, definitely. It's like there was a sharp rock stuck in between your clavicle snotch and serum. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining outside. It hurts. Ouchie. It always hurts. Ouchie. It hurts. Ouchie! I know! Ouch! Ouchie! Sobbing. Crying. Shaking. It's Sunday, you wake up 
in a perilous and down. You have an important literature assignment though today. You haven't started it. Rose is awake in the living room. You feel coming ill. You weren't able to feed Terrace. It's floating. It's floating dead in the fishbowl. You sit down at your desk and you take out your literature homework. Your heart starts thud in your mouth. Have you ever felt like nobody's loved you? Yes, a lot, okay? I understand. But. Some? But. You're going to have an anxiety attack. No. You need to make a decision quickly. You have to bind either your fingers shaking and let go of it. It rolls up next on the floor, you feel unless and not cry. Uh, yeah. There's things you as they come out, your breath is jittering and you can control it. You feel the slow. What? You're slow, so you can bring that. Your speech is fast, you're slow, you become so much more, blah, blah, blah. You're shaking very hard to slow. You can make words appear on the paper, you can do it. You don't have anything you could handle, and you haven't touched your works all day. Your hands are deadlocked, your fist to move, your insides are cold. You want to cry, but everything in your body is still down here immobile. You simply can't, you simply can't do anything. Go and find it, Panadol. Aren't you sad? Yes! You bought out some bull words yesterday. You know you did. You find another thing, at least the pack is worth. An excessive amount for you to buy. You still have $2 bottle of Chardonnay in the fridge. You have figured that. Should it come to it, you wouldn't even need all three packets. But then again, you still weren't sure how strong of a medicine Panadol is. You think that it wouldn't hurt to be safe. You can see Rose anywhere. You are their mind, but you know that you cannot be selfish. You are a little shivery, but now not unbearably shaky like before, but more. Shivering coolly, anticipatively, you take out your phone, your thumb is un as uncoordinated as you, and you realize you are still afraid. Rose, Rose, I'm afraid. I love you, okay? Just always know that. And nothing is your fault. Harry, you're feeling key? Shh. Babe? Harry? Let's come back from a home a little early from Sunday America. They're rushing looking for you. Harry, you're holding a packet of panel with limp fingers. You're, there's a thunderstorm. You're set to ask. You sit at your desk with your assignments through in front of you. You are milky eyed, rose church toward you. They gently take away the panel from you and they say it to suggestively, but they move with a vigor, a very proposed. You soon find yourself pressed into their chest. You're soon crying hysterically. They start to cry as well. It's okay, Rose says. I love you so much. It's okay. I promise that it'll be okay. You broke down at 10.17. You're imagining your breasts very well. Rose will stay by your side. They love and support you every step. Rose and you did your best to finish what you could of your homework. Yeah, however, we're still asked to leave your ritual to course. Well, fuck. You want to kill yourself. What? <laughs> There's a... <laughs> Don't you hate yourself a lot? Are you sad? Yes, all time. Can you feel yourself suffocating? Yes. Okay. Thank you for following. Will we be gone? A game by Louis Tuckville. If you or anybody you know ever need any help, Lifeline Australia, 13, 11, 14, Q Life, 1800, 184, 527, LGBT mental illness helpline, so that prevention, all nation wide helplines. Yes. I mean, I already got the good ending, right? Uh huh. Go to class. Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> did your did your director arrive flight? You're annoyed, but your teacher was glad. Did you tan? You're back, right? Spend time with them. Okay. You go shopping. You will you will travel around a neon world world. So you feel it with necessities. You turn your pocket change on Galaga and can buy Taurus flakes. You gotta check out. You tap your debit card and it declines. You put your you put medicine back. You put some food back. You don't buy any credit for your phone. Some food, I guess. Go for a drive. Take your time. Try to make dinner. It's difficult. 
and you're not a cook and you're tired. You managed to make a fresh helping of two minute noodles. Ross comes home, they just they're just on time to share the noodles with you. <laughs> Ross laugh at your reports, but you can tell that they are a little happy. You go to bed. What? I don't have shopping. You could be happier by your copy. You and Ross are content. You're on top of your pressing coursework. Maybe. It hurts, definitely. Uh huh, you fool, Camille Neil. Terror Snow. But. I'll let go of it. Let yourself cry. No. No, 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 no. Wait, what did I click? Fuck. What? Too slow? Just give up on it. Look for Panadol. Aren't you sent? You try to manage your prison, it's within well you your daily, but you're learning to cope. Ross probably stay by your side, I love and support you ever said. You are to complete your assignment, you're enjoying your shorter clothes. Stick. Uh, class. That's nice. <laughs> what? That's not an answer. Alright. So. Well, the, the game disappears. Sorry about that. So I guess the all for will be gone. It's a sh short experience indeed. very interesting uh, yeah it's pretty much just a short reflection of some people experience and which you maybe could relate or maybe i could relate i don't know uh I, you know maybe i you know i may be laughing here and there but i know the pain as well you know of this thing and the laugh is just how we how do you say it how do how i deal with it i guess like you know what uh you're not alone that that's all i could say and keep it up okay but i guess it's all for we'll be gone i hope you enjoy it see you later then in the next video bye bye